I'm in the beautiful city of Avila, Spain. I'm Sam Garza with the World Traveler today. Join me as I walk the walls of this ancient Spanish city. I began my journey from Madrid's North train station, Chamartín. If you plan on taking the train, look for the Cercanías train headed in the direction of Escorial. Expect your journey to last one hour and 50 minutes. Once you arrive, you can take a taxi or you can take a 10 minute walk to the center of Avila's old town. My first stop was at the Centro de Recepción de Visitantes, or the tourist office, located on Calle de Madrid. I recommend getting a free map to help you navigate the city. I entered the old town through the Plaza del Mercado Grande, stopping to view the statue of Saint Teresa. After a two-hour train ride, I needed some food. So I visited El Atrio, located in Plaza del Chico. I ordered a glass of Rivera, paired with some patatas bravas for my tapa. After my snack, I headed to the city's famous walls. The walls date back to the 11th century and they stretch one and a half miles around the city. After walking the walls, I recommend exiting the West Gate and having a drink and tapa at Gloria Bendita. The staff are friendly and they have a great wine selection. Another spot to visit is the beautiful Avila Cathedral. The original plans was for a cathedral fortress. The apse of the cathedral is one of the turrets of the walls of the city. The exact date of when the construction of the cathedral began is not known but it probably began in the year 1091. The cost of entering the cathedral is six euros. On the northeastern end of the city is the Palacio de Sofraga. The palace has a comfortable patio bar where you can rest and have some food paired with some good wine. If you're a meat lover, Avila is definitely the place for you. The city is known for its chuleton. Chuleton is a very thick, cut bone in rib steak. I recommend La Lumbre when visiting Avila. A visit to Avila is not complete without a visit to La Flor de Castilla for some delicious yemas. Yemas are a mix of sugar and egg yolk sprinkled with powdered sugar. The shop sells yemas by the box and serves food along with coffee and other drinks. If you're just looking to have only a few yemas and don't necessarily want to buy a box, I recommend Chuchi Pastry. The Basilica de San Vicente is one of the extra mural churches, which means churches outside the city walls. Construction of the basilica began in the year 1175, and its name comes from one of the three Christian martyrs, Vicente, Sabina, and Cresteta, killed by the Romans. I was in search for a more modern place to eat dinner, and I found what I was looking for at Seoul Kitchen. I had a hearty chicken sandwich followed by some delicious red wine. Los Cuatro Postes, or Four Posts, is located outside the city walls on the far western part of town. 
this is the perfect spot to take pictures of the city during sunrise or sunset. I'm glad I was able to return to the beautiful city of Avila. It's one of our five recommended day trips from Madrid, but that's for another video. Thanks for watching and remember, travel deeper. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're planning a trip to Europe, allow us to design the trip for you. We can provide expert advice to ensure your trip is one you'll never forget. So please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon.